With the editing turned on, if we click the Add a Block drop-down, we see that there are many blocks that can be added to our course, and it's worth exploring these by adding them and seeing what they do, and by looking at the Moodle documentation on each block. We'll just look at a few in this video. For example, you can add a Comments block, which allows your learners to add short little comments to either your course as a whole or to a particular activity. Scrolling down, you can see that there's a Quiz Results block. Later in the course, we'll learn how to add a quiz. If you add the Quiz Results block, then you can have a competitive element on your course page where the highest scorers, or even the lowest scorers, can be displayed. You can also add a random glossary entry block. Later in the course, we'll look at adding a glossary where your learners can contribute items to the glossary. The random glossary entry block will allow items to be displayed on your course page directly. Another block is a tags block and this allows your learners to search for other learners uh, with similar interests. If we take a look here, we can see that there is a tags block and that cats is particularly interesting because it's in a larger size and if we click any of the links we will see the users who have said that as their interest. If we click cats, here are the people who are interested in cats. Let's take a look at another course page and we can see an example here of the comments block. Some people have already made a comment and you would simply add your comment and save it. As a teacher you're allowed to delete students' comments if you think they're not appropriate. And individual students and learners can delete their own comments but not those of others. Above here, if we open this, is an example of the random glossary entry. So why not go and take a look at some of the other blocks that you can add to your course.